It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Siren Craft Brew and it's a collaboration with Hoppin' Frog. It's 7.4% ABV. It's Five Alarm Red Chili Beer. Describes itself as having the, the red caramel malt to add to sweetness for the beer to complement that lovely, what do they call it? Celebration of the glorious chili pepper. Let's get this beer out into a glass see what we get there's the bottle cap i'm looking forward to this uh it's it's gonna be it's gonna be good i can just tell wow nice bit of smoke on the opening beer in the glass then One finger, tan coloured head, nice levels of carbonation. Lovely, yeah, it's definitely a red ale. I'm a massive fan of red ales anyway, just really, especially the hoppy red ales. This is not a hoppy red ale, but um, yes, I just love that sweet caramel malt that, that is just, just, I love a red beer. Looks really good, nice levels of carbonation. Probably an unfiltered beer, might even be bottle conditioned. Uh, let me know in the comments box. Uh, should we get the aroma on this 7.4% ABV beer? I'm looking forward to this chilli burn. Yeah, wow. Slightly smoky. Earthy. You get the sweetness from the red ale, most definitely. That caramel malt. And then a little kind of menacing aroma of chilli. Should we dive in? Cheers. Oh, blimey. Wow, that's a burn. I'd just eaten a curry half an hour ago, and this is this is by far, and I love my hot curries. What did I have? A chicken sagaloo um, with some rice and some, and some poppadoms and naan breads. And, but coming back to the beer, wow, it's just explosive with that chilli. I mean, it knocks my, knocks my Indian out of the park. Proper, proper chilli burn down the throat. Nice level of sweetness, as they mentioned on the bottle, to complement it though. But by, by goodness me, is it... Wow, what a burn. <sighs> Fly me. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows. Uh, I recently reviewed some, uh, can I name a competitor? Oh, go on then. I recently reviewed some Brewdog. They, had, they, they did the Neon Overlord and they did their Chili Hammer. <laughs> this is just at another level. This is, this reminds me of the Allendale beer that I reviewed a few, about four years ago now. Um, Yep, no, they got the kind of fire baskets to warn people off the coast. I can't remember what they're called now. But it was, the beer was named after that anyway. And that was really, really full-on chilli beer. Oh, blimey, it's, 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 so, it's so kind of chilli-ish. Unbelievable. Let's try our best to pull other flavours out of the beer then, shall we? Toffee, caramel, sweetness, nicely carbonated, boom, chilli, and that's it, chilli, 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 and it, and it really does, it just lurks and hangs around and, and, and burns your throat. Wow, so they had a chilli con carne cook-off, the brewmaster of Hopping Frog, Fred Cam. So when they were brewing the beer, they had a kind of chilli con carne uh, uh, cook-off, and I, I think that's a really... I mean, good thing to do. Cooking with a chilli beer, brewing a chilli beer even. 
making some nice chili food as well. Um, five a lamb red chili beer. I really like that, really like it. If you're gonna put chili or double IPA or, or, or American brown ale or barley wine or, or Belgian double, Belgian triple, you have to stick with that style. You have to go for it, full pal. Chocolate beer, for example. If you go chocolate beer, I've got something on my, throat, on my neck. Um, if you go chocolate beer and you have some thin kind of mm, of a chocolate beer, it's 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 rubbish. It's, it's you, you want to go full in vanilla beers. If you if you brew with vanilla and you say so on the on the can, on the bottle, they have to they have to perform, and they they've made no bones about it. This is a red chili beer, and by goodness me, is it red chili? It's really red chili. I like it enough to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.